It's right here. We matching strawberry lemon. I'm excited. It's been a little minute. Today's a special day. Today's video is something special. We have our Clives. Not all of our Clives. We have the Clives that got us in the chokehold right now. And it's these six. Um, I was gonna do five, but I was like, ah, let's just make it, let's make it even. Let's do everything even. How have you guys been? I'm so rude. I just come on here drinking. Like, that's not what they click for. How have you guys been? I've been doing well. I have missed you guys so much. And now let's just get into the video because y'all here for this. You're not, you're not here for all my antics or are y'all? Y'all cool with my antics? Are y'all here for my antics? First okay. one that we're going to talk about is Jumping Kiss Me. I absolutely love this one. Um, I've smelled the other ones in this line. They smelled a little bit more masculine to me on me. It's not really my jam. I feel like for it to be my jam, it has to be a little bit more sweeter. And this is definitely sweet. It's woody. It's amber. It's vanilla. Some of the notes in here, we have black cherry, mandarin orange, violet leaf, clary sage, bergamot, lemon, grapefruit for me this one is definitely for a girl's this is like for my girls nights like it's sweet it has such a unique factor i don't have anything in my collection that smells like this it's warm spicy and appropriate for like the cold weather because right now it's brick i remember when i had finally got my nose on this after like constantly looking at the whole launch of this fragrance i was like this is the most beautiful layered fragrance i have gotten my nose on in a really long time I know you guys don't get the videos as frequent from me, but to be honest, I'm not outside buying fragrances. You guys have been seeing my collection over the years. I already started off, already had a crazy collection of fragrances. It's now that I'm starting to downsize. This last year, even before my birthday, I had been getting rid of so many fragrances. Fragrances that were just not getting love from me. And you guys cannot tell because it's mostly fragrances that I didn't even have a chance to bring onto the channel. I feel like I was just in a place of like, you know, oh, I'm bored or I just want something new just ch constantly chasing that new factor and I had to really sit with myself and let myself know like that's not the way I want to live my life I don't constantly want to be chasing a new factor people might say it's just fragrance you know you're getting fragrances for yourself but to be honest that's how I do with everything if I get a bag and I like it I'm gonna get that bag in different colors it gets to a point that you really gotta give and take and pick your poison and it's not like I cannot afford the means to do what I'm doing it's not that it's just having excess and trying to feel validated by items or stuff like that that's just not my my zhuzh. I want to love everything that's in my possession. I want to absolutely be in awe with everything that I have and looking into my collection I was not in awe with the things that I had. I was not one with those items. I didn't feel as though I needed them. So that is why I donated so many items to shelters around my birthday time. I sold so many fragrances out and the fragrances that I'm saying I just did not need are backups. I had four backups for Baccarat Rouge 540, a fragrance that I don't wear every day. Like it just doesn't make sense, you know? Like when you think about it, you're just like, I don't even know when I'm gonna get to my second bottle. You know, I just finished my first big bottle that I had that Bay bought me. You guys are OG here, you know which one I'm talking about. So I'm dealing with my travel size and stuff like that. So that is something I really wanted to plug in here that yes, I know this is quite long. Fragrance has always been a part of my life. So it gets to the point that it's kind of like boring. And you guys see the energy. When I come on here, I want you guys to feel my energy. I want to be excited doing anything that I'm doing here on this channel. But these are the fragrances that I'm like really, really loving, okay? can definitely say that this fragrance is feminine leaning the cherry in here the sweetness even the way the warm spicy is even done on my skin is definitely done like really beautiful it's very sensual this is a very sensual one i love it i'm not saying that my guy should not try it guys still go around and go on and try it but i'm just saying love noble collection cypress guys this one is woody it's aromatic it's amber has a little bit of like citrus very very little this is what I like my boyfriend to smell like. There is cypress and amber. This is not made up of a whole bunch of things. This fragrance was launched in 2018. It's one for sure that the notes just make it seem meh, but it's doing a lot. Like the notes make it seem like it's really not here for nothing, but it's honestly here for everything. 
and its mother, okay? It wasn't a love at first sniff when I got this one. It's definitely one that's been creeping up on me. I think it's the simplicity and I also think it's the season. Like I stated, it's brick. And the weather keeps changing. There's one day that it's brick and then the next day it's just rainy. Then the next day it's just like, oh my gosh, all I need is a little vest. Like it does, I don't need much. I need a little bomber jacket. It's one that I definitely think my guy should try because it's so like simple. The performance on this, I would say is like a seven out of 10. Like it has good performance. I feel like all of these have really great performance. Jump and Kiss Me for me is a 10 out of 10. Like it just goes amazing, especially when I use Jump and Kiss Me with the Gummy Bear Native Body Shower Gel. Yeah, y'all know I don't even, you know, I don't gotta say too much cause y'all know I don't gotta lie to y'all. Sophisticated, pleasant, decent scent. A, <laughs> we got a OG, OG, OG. It's Fruity Flora with Dark Plum. You guys have to see where I'm up to. This is what you call love. I know I said I was gonna show you guys the empties video. This is what you call love. <sighs> Fruity Flora with Dark Plum has had my heart for the longest time. If I had to say my favorite Clive, out of everything on this list, if you've been watching my channel for a while and you feel as though me and Whit Babe, we got that same vibe. We rock together, I like what she shows. Give this a try, I'm not gonna tell you to blind by. Cause we don't need to do that. When I tell you I love this stuff, I love this stuff. As the name already suggests, it's fruity, it's green, it's white floral, it's sweet, it's soft, spicy. It's definitely giving those date night vibes. Like if you want somebody like to be in this region right here, you, you know, the ears and the talking slowly, like, you, you know what? I'm gonna paint the picture. So you know when you go out, right? And it's like a loud vibe with the person you digging and who you really vibing with, like they gotta tell you something in your ear. This is this, this, this right here is the aroma. You want to smack them. <laughs> <laughs> this is the aroma you want to smack them with so they're like dang like feeling that they invoke when they smell that scent you want that to stick with them because they might not remember the scent but to be honest you can't remember a smell you know it's only when you get a whiff of it then you know i can't sit here like i know what baccarat smells like but i can't sit here and just invoke the smell of baccarat but that feeling they got when they smelt that whole aroma on you right here like that's the one it's super unique to the nose. It's the black currant, it's the vanilla. It's something that when you get your hands on it and you're looking for like a wow factor, you're looking for something to just stand out in a crowd, it has to be this. Like this one, obviously, you could tell it's an easy reach. You can tell it's dark plum. I love to mix it with Jimmy Choo Fever. These two together, not much to say. If I have to mix them, it's gonna be this. Fever already has the same vibe of that smooth, I always tell you guys that Jimmy Choo Fever reminds me of a niche fragrance. Like it's nichiness, it's clean, it's done nicely for a designer fragrance. It's just done so well. But this right here with it, beautiful. Amber Oriental with Rich Musk. You have to be careful with these names because you might see an initial at the top, but the name is different. But Amber Oriental with Rich Musk. Another one that I absolutely love. Like this fragrance is just absolutely it. I love amber fragrances. I love rum and fragrances. This one for sure, the fact that it's oriental, the whole nine yards makes me happy. It's woody, it's amber, it's powdery, musky, vanilla. To be honest, I think the players that shine hard in this fragrance has to just be the woods. And it's weird because the woods don't give me, woo. The booty backing up on fragrance is about to drop stuff. The woods don't give me masculine, and this is targeted for men. The woods don't give me masculine. It kind of gives me like fluffy wood. This probably doesn't make any sense. So you gotta go out and really put your nose on it. But what I'm trying to say is, it's a sweet wood that's so fluffy, so light. Some people would compare this scent to like Gucci Brown, which is the vintage Gucci de parfum i wouldn't compare it to that i feel as though that this is more sophisticated and it's not because of the price tag it's not because it's clark fishing it's just me being real i wouldn't compare it to that i feel like with this one it just goes really deep and dark there's no middleman with this it goes deep seductive intriguing enticing tantalizing it just goes that route if you're already into ambers you're into orientals you know that's kind of like your genre of fragrances even if you're not and you do want to try it i feel as though to mix it to make it like more sweeter if you feel as though it's too masculine for you if you're a woman even if you're a guy i think a splash of kaali vanilla works great with this 
brown sugar, vanilla, like I think a splash of this really goes great with this on top of you. It gives this like continuous layering effect. It gives this continuous, gorgeous, creamy, smooth, like play back and forth with these two. All of these fragrances can be worn on their own, but you guys know I'm a mixer by nature. That's just what I do. With the Amber Oriental with Dark Plum, because of already the sweetness of the plum and the vanilla, Magnificent. But I got a plug and mention that I've been using a lot is actually from Dua and it's called Alexandria Short. And just different vanillas, um, but it's quite toned down. Oh, gosh, it's so like creamy and sweet. These two together, really good as well. For me, I feel like Dua fragrances help me out in regards to mixing. Because sometimes I want to mix two fragrances that are from niche houses and because some of the fragrances are so uniquely done. When I actually hit outside where wind slaps me, I'm like, I smell too much. Like I can, I really feel like it smells too much. But when I add stuff like Dua, especially when the fragrances sit for a while, for like a month or two, three months, I notice that the concentration is so strong. Like even just this one spray that I just did on my arm, it smells so captivating and it smells inviting. So with the dark plum and then this vanilla accent, it just absolutely works. All right, this one, I can't even tell you how many times this has been repurchased. This is 1872, much missing. I had a bottle that was finished. If you guys watched my last video, you guys will see that, that that one was already done. So of course we had to get a new one. The Feminine Perfume of the Perfect Pair. 1872 is straight up a boss fragrance. It's straight up for those that walk into the room, all eyes are on them. They know I'm that, okay? It's not about the it girl, it's just I'm that. I know, I'm. she is me, I am her. I'm it, okay? That's what this is. This, this baby right here is a floral fruity freshness. It's a fragrance that literally combines freshness and fruits all together. It's honestly a pick-me-up. It's something that if I'm heading out in the morning and I wanna just confirm a good day, it has to be 1872. It's one that literally lights up a room like when people hug you when people get close to you i get it all the time there is an intense bouquet of like rose de mai even though this one says the feminine perfume of the perfect pair i'm not gonna lie mixing the masculine and the feminine work really good i always mix with 1872 feminine pair it has to be virgin island water from creed the freshness on both of these you just feel like you took a lemon zing shower like even if you didn't use anything to combine it in the shower you just feel so like clean and put together the next one we have is magnolia magnolia took me a little minute i'm not gonna lie the reason why magnolia took me some time is because i didn't understand what the undertone was so it's not like I didn't like it. I was just more so like curious. So it's floral, it's citrus, it's warm, spicy. That's what it. That's what the undertone for me is. I'm very finicky when it comes to floral. Like I'm not a huge floral powdery person. It needs to be done in the most elegant, smooth, smoothie in the blender type of way. It needs to just come together. It needs to be something that I'm excited and looking forward to. If it's not done that way and I feel a piece of harshness, it bothers me basically. It has cinnamon, cloves, rose, magnolia, oak moss, and sandalwood. So that underneath is like the floral and the cinnamon. I love cinnamon, but sometimes with the floral, we don't know, we're on shaky grounds. I'm not too sure. I noticed that the more I wore it, I was just so intrigued. It's sweet. This is another one that I love to mix with Jimmy Choo Fever. Once it has that like, dark essence like we're playing with the nighttime we're playing with date night stuff jimmy true fever just does it it just makes it happen these are my babies right now these are the ones that i'm always constantly going for i still have the other ones but these are the ones that i'm constantly going for and i think it's really because they fit this weather <laughs> like i have to be real i use my fragrances anytime i'm craving them like anytime i want them i use them but i feel like because it's been so brick you want something that's gonna make you stand out one when you do happen to go out but right now we're getting into birthday seasons birthdays are coming up pisces season is definitely around the corner we're getting into that season okay where you you know show off for no reason but <laughs> these are the ones that i absolutely love i want you guys to comment down below some fragrances that you guys are loving 
thing right now. I feel like I'm so out of touch. And in a way, I kind of like it that way. I miss you guys. I really, really did miss you guys. So until my next one. Bye, guys. Um, because I don't want to feel like I'm just, you know, on this rat race and I got to have everything. This was really a hobby for me, for me to have as much as I have. It was a hobby for me. I loved collecting. I loved, like, you know, getting my paycheck and getting myself something or saving up for a particular fragrance um, back in the day to get, like, what I wanted. I love that feeling. When I started to feel as though it was cutting out of my joy, like I wasn't really enjoying my situation with my fragrances, I had to go back to the drawing board. I'm known for being that one that got that umph on, that has that fragrance on. So... I needed to go back to my love. Time I buy fragrances is when I'm gifting them. I'm actually gifting my cousin. I'm gifting her risk um, for her birthday. And I'm excited about that. <sighs> I'm tired.